All right, so I decided to split this video into two because when I was done, it was 35 minutes. <clears throat> That's too much. So this is the start of the video. All right, back to this guy. Um, now you can see the high spots here. Um, that there, that dent there now became a high spot, so I've got to tap this down. Um, I think everything else looks pretty okay. Uh, so this is 80. Like I said, I have uh, some, what is this, 180 I think here, to go uh, hit the rest of these. And then we'll tap these down, and then we'll go over it again in all the places where the high spots were. Put filler on those because those should hopefully be low spots now, as you can see. We'll hit it again. Try to keep you out of the fan here. Sorry for the noise, but it's hot in here. 180. So there's chunks on the paper they were leaving marks. So put some new paper on in the that question how well epoxy sands this is day old DPLV epoxy and you see it sands really nice considering I mean it, it gums up a little bit right but so that's to be expected since it's only a day old but it sands really nice even that I mean because that's functional that's not just decorative right 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 Pops and I were just man that's still too high um, we're just talking about how how you can dress up an LS versus the uh, like small blocks and stuff back in the day. I said there was a lot of things you can do, but it, there's some differences between the two. What you're saying is you can put lipstick on a pig, but not on an LS3? Something like that. Yeah. So what I was just saying to Pops is this is the E-Rod engine and so this is the smog legal California thing because this is a 77, it's covered by smog. Um, basically the referee rules are you can't touch anything on that package. So exhaust, intake, nothing. It's got to stay the way it was, um, which really limits what you can do. Um, so the, the plan of attack for this one is we'll get it smogged and then we'll see, you know, after the fact, you know, can I just like swap out the exhaust manifolds or somewhere else if we're really not functionally changing anything? You know, if they're the same exhaust manifolds, just stainless instead of cast iron, uh, stuff like that. Um, I don't, there's not a lot of room to wiggle though. I'm kind of stuck with it, unfortunately. So we were just talking about the valve covers, how on an LS. You've got the coil packs on top of the valve cover, so it doesn't really look as clean. Um, they do have coil relocation packs, though, Dad. So you can move the coils somewhere else and hide them or something. All right, did I miss anything? Uh, let me take a look. Okay, spot right here. I don't know, they did cat paw. Yeah. 
guess it's small imperfections like that when I sign the whole thing off with my new toy. I just want to make sure any spots that we tap down the high spots are covered. I don't want to see any high spots after this. I think we got them all. I want to see if I can tap this spot down real quick if it's still too high. Before this guy, this guy. Pulled up. Now it's too high. That angle looks good, huh? That looks better. We'll see how that all stands up there. All right, anything else? Got it? No, that looks good. All right, there you go. Playing up time. That dry. Make it all before bed. Switch to one eight here. What? Yeah. We gotta knock this garbage out of here. Yeah. You want to have to tap it then, right? Yeah, we'll come back to it. Let's uh, put some guide code on it. What the heck? Um, see where we are. Garage. Breathing. I got the powder guy coat on there, the 3 m stuff. And some 180 on here. See how it looks. In a box, right? In a box. In a box. Double box. Double box. Get some work on that nose there.
Okay, why am I trying to sit? Yeah. Take this one too. Man. We were just talking about making sure when we're sanding here, not to sand over the center line. Try and keep it as pristine as we can. So there's the line right there. It shows up in the camera. Look at this. There's an eye spot over here. Okay, I'll just sand. Show you where we are so so we have a high spot there a little bit of a ridge here you can't feel that but i'm still going to tap it down a little bit just so it doesn't keep poking up on me uh, this spot that we started with over here that original dent should have just left that alone because <laughs> uh, pulled that out became a high spot then when i tapped it down the whole thing crater now i have a big low spot there if you can see that so that would have been better just to leave alone i think this is okay over here um, i'll probably just tap any place I see metal sticking through here, I'm going to tap it down a little bit. I'll show you that. All right, so it should be said here, in case anyone was wondering, no, I have no experience in body work, so I could be doing this completely wrong. All right, so I'm just going to tap this down a little. frame is very stubborn. All right, I don't have a lot of space left on the camera for some reason that I don't understand, but whatever. Um, so we put a nice big wipe of filler on here and the other spots that were uh, a little low. Oh, man, I forgot this spot. Hold on, I'll come back to that. Anyway, uh, we'll sand this down, see how this looks now. This will start actually properly sanding with guide coat and everything. I was actually going for a shape here now. Now we made an attempt at trying to find the center line here. It's really hard because it's so subtle on this hood. Uh, not worried about it up there. It's a little, but we're giving it a try. All right, we switched to 180 now. Put the tape line over and do the other side. All right, the big reveal. See how we did? Not too bad. All right, so we're gonna dab a little bit of filler in this hole here, then we're gonna shoot this dog with slick sand. All right, 
first coat went on like molasses. I'm gonna put a little acetone in this one, see if we can smooth it out. All right, well, it came out pretty good until Pops put his finger in it. Hey, hey. That's all right. Um, so it's pretty smooth. This, this is gonna run out any second here, so I'm just gonna keep talking until it shuts up. Um, you can see it came out pretty nice. So that area up there looks good. This area might need a little more work right here, but I think it's okay. Um, all the high spots I think we got rid of. Move, Pops, you're blocking the light. <laughs> but I'd say it looks like a hood. Now this is the end of the video with the magic of editing. <gasps> All right, I cleared out all the storage on my uh, camera here, so it's got room again. Um, unfortunately, when this stuff dries, it is so dull that <laughs> you can't see anything. Um, but hopefully we can at least see the, the shadow lines and stuff here. We can see that little suspect right there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, once it dries, it's pretty hard to see anything. Um, but hopefully you can see that it looks pretty nice. It's pretty funny where the video cut out. I think it's right when I said, it looks like a hood. <laughs> the camera died like right then, so um, good stuff. So yeah, slick sand. Um, uh, I don't even remember if the instructions say anything about um, using acetone to thin it out, but uh, lots of people do it and it seems to work. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe it said on the can. I threw the can away, so I don't know. Um, but basically uh, up to 10%, I think, um, acetone makes all the difference in the world. Um, this stuff was coming out like undercoating or something. At first it was just like just specks of material coming out. It was terrible. Um, and I opened the fan, or the fluid all the way up and it just didn't make any difference really. Um, and then when you put the acetone, you know, the fan was about that wide. We put the acetone in, then I got a nice eight or 10 inch fan, I think, and uh, just sprayed out perfectly. So uh, if you're using any of that spray on polyester filler, you're probably gonna wanna do that. Um, and of course, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, don't mix up too much of that stuff because it dries really fast and don't leave it in your gun. So what I did is I, uh, I did a pint, uh, so 16 ounces, um, that was one coat, uh, then cleaned the gun out just quickly, not a thorough cleaning, but just sprayed the gun cleaner all through it to get as much of the crap out as you know easily. Uh, then went and mixed up about 18 ounces or so and then put the uh, put a couple ounces of um, acetone in it by eye I didn't measure it um, about that much acetone uh, and then sprayed that and then cleaned everything out everything was fine so and this was sprayed with a 2.2 tip um, sorry I couldn't go through any of that when I was uh, shooting the video because the camera just had no no time left on it um, so that's that, and uh, the brackets, I'm going to come back to the brackets, so these guys all have overspray on them now, Let me get the garage here where it's not so bright, uh, so this is what that uh, VHT enamel looks like, um, oops, missed that spot, uh, this is what the DPLV looks like when it dries. So you can see it looks similar, it's just not as glossy, um, but it looks good. I think anyone will be able to tell the difference there. Um, but yeah, I gotta come back and hit that guy. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so there we go. So all of that's done, ready to rock. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and leave this here for a week uh, to dry and harden and everything. Um, then we'll come back next weekend. Um, hopefully, I think we have one day left before Pops is gone. Um, we'll block this guy down, um, depending on how it looks, put another coat of epoxy on it, maybe not, we'll see. Maybe just leave it like this and put it on the car, we'll see. Um, I'd like to get the car put back together before Pops leaves, because um, then I can work on it while he's gone. Um, but we'll see. 
he's only gone for a couple of weeks, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, it would be nice to actually put all these pieces back on it. And it would be nice if this was black, because then we could see the whole car in black for the first time. Um, but we'll see. We realized after spraying that this tarp was off, so I got probably overspray all over everything in here, which sucks. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes. But anyway, that's going to do it. Take it easy, everybody.